के आज इतने मुलुंड में नवीन भाई चांद्रा जे घरे पा घर बैठा ही अने आज बहुत खास कुछ आज एक री मीटिंग है विरांश भानुशाली साथे अने इन जो जो को बैकग्राउंड है ऐसे यहाँ उनको क्लीर है नहीं यहाँ शिक्षक भानुशाली सेवा समाज ट्रस्ट जो को पांची मात्रु संस्था है जो को एजुकेशन में अलग-अलग एक्टिविटीज वैसे समय थी लगभग सत्यावी वर्ष थी करी रही है इनमें जो को एकड़ो ओवरसीज ला करे जो को है भानुशाली ओवरसीज सपोर्ट सिस्टम के जिनमें स्टूडेंट्स के भानुशाली स्टूडेंट्स के पूरों गाइडेंस में ले अब्रॉड बने ला करे अने उधर सेटल थी हैं उधर जॉब ला करे अथवा तो जो को भी कोरीज हुए तो लक्ष्य में स्टूडेंट्स यू नो आई थे विचार बड़ो इवेंट थेरी रहा है कि जिनमें विरांश चंद्रा कच्छ गांव दुनई हनी के ऑक्सफोर्ड में एडमिशन मिले हुए हैं अंडरग्रेड इंटरनेशनल लॉ में करें वाले हैं तो पाइनी साथे चर्चा करेंगे कि किन प्रमाणे हनी जी प्रिपरेशन रही है ना खास वर्ड जो को अलग-अलग क्वेश्चंस माजा मरे स्टूडेंट्स के जो को हुए थे अने लगभग रिकॉर्ड ते पायडी ते नहीं हूँ तो आफ्टर शैमजी प्रश्न वर्मा आई थिंक ही इज़ द सेकेंड बानोशाली टू गेट एडमिट इन चार्ल्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी जस्ट पाय एक रो सेटअप आई करेगी नो सो वी हैव नितेश भाई जो को विरांच जा फादर हैं विरांच जा मदर नीलम बेन नवीन भाई आविरांज या दादू, अने भारती पे, खास आते नहीं, अने इतने दिनेश भाई चंद्रा, जैसे वह समाज जा ट्रस्टी, अने राजेंद्र भाई मंगे, बानुशाली चिंबर ऑफ कॉमर्स कोई है, अने बॉस जा एक्टिव टीम में पर, अने जो को कैमरा में पास आते नहीं, जैसे सैलेंश भाई, जोइसर, इज यू नो मंत्री इन सेव We'll start with the interview. So, Viranj, first of all, uh, congratulations, uh, you know, that you got admitted in Oxford. And uh, we have a lot of things uh, to cover. So, first, Shura uh, Karte, how do you feel? Kero Lageto, and everything that you want to share, like internal, what sort of things uh, you feel right now? It's, a, it's obviously a thoda overwhelming because. If you tell someone that you are going to the same college which has spawned 30 British Prime Ministers, the same college Albert Einstein went to, the same college Swami Krishna Varma went to, it puts a little responsibility on your shoulders to take that opportunity and do something great. At the same time, you are also riding on the hopes of not only your parents, your family, but also the rest of the Bhagavashali community. Where, here, by recording this video itself, I hope to at least give a tiny bit of hope and inspiration to others who might want to follow suit. So, feeling is one of overwhelming, feeling is obviously one of pride on my own end. There's also a lot of happiness and I've provided the ability for not only myself but my entire family and the wider Kachi community to have a smile on their face. Great, absolutely. So, we'll just start uh, from uh, your uh, preparation basically. Uh, I think I have a little bit of understanding but you know, to the audience, uh, let's uh, do it again. Uh, who told you that there is this Oxford and you have to go there? dream How did you find out that okay, Oxford may jana hai? So fundamentally, Oxford is a little bit of a mythic thing. Jo our school mein hota hai tha. Jo meri textbooks thi, wo vast chapke aati thi. Ab ek bata sa Oxford ka tag hota tha. So in the back of our minds, we pata hai tha ki university hai Oxford ke liye. School mein bhi exposure to aaya hai. But jab actually career choose karne ki baari aayi meri. I was in the 11th standard and we started the application season and I made a short list that this is a good university and when I was in London, the main university is Law, UCL, London School of Economics, King's College London I was all named, there were 5 choices and then I had a conversation with my dad and I had a conversation with him that I was here for the application so I had a list of the list so I heard the list but I asked a question कि best university कौनसी है लॉ के लिए बाहर मतलब वो तो ऑक्सफोर्ड है 
पीएस रैंकिंग्स पकड़ लो पीएसई रैंकिंग्स पकड़ लो सिंपली अबाउट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स जो वहां से आए वो पकड़ लो तो वन वन यूनिवर्सिटी इज फॉलोइंग 30 प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स इन द वेरी बिग यस नीट ओके इवन इंदिरा गांधी वेंट देयर एक्चुअली फॉर अ मास्टर्स सो ऑब्वियसली आई सेड ऑक्सफोर्ड दिस देखिए मेरी इसमें ऑक्सफोर्ड का नाम नहीं था मैंने पूछा ऑक्सफोर्ड का नाम क्यों नहीं है मेरे पास सारा रीजन थे थोड़े कि उनका कोर्स थोड़ा जूनियर स्टूडेंट्स बेस्ड है सिटी सेंटर से थोड़ी बाहर है लंदन से थोड़ी दूर है यूनिवर्सिटी ट्यूशन फीस भी थोड़ा ज्यादा है <laughs> और सवाल तो थे ऐसे बहुत सारे लेकिन सुने भी होंगे बस एक चीज बोलते तू अप्लाई क्यों नहीं करा तुझे पता मुझे लगता है तुझसे नहीं हो सकता और वो जो एक स्टेटमेंट था वो स्टेटमेंट पे मैंने डिसाइड कर लिया कि अब तो करना क्या बात है लंबा प्रोसेस 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 था 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 तो तो के अंदर तो आपका प्रोसेस का होता होता है वो 15 अक्टूबर ईयर बिफोर यू प्लान टू गो अभी मैं 2022 में जा रहा हूँ मेरा एप्लीकेशन फिफ्टीन अक्टूबर तक उन तक तक पहुंच जाना चाहिए इन 2021 और ये जो एप्लीकेशन होते हैं पोर्टल रहता है में अंडर ग्रेजुएट एप्लीकेशन के लिए यूकेस होते हैं यूसीएस University and Careers Admission Service. तो जो UCAS होता है आपको वहाँ पे पांच यूनिवर्सिटियों का चॉइस मिलता है अप्लाई करने के लिए hmm. और अभी अनलाइक US क्या होता है UK में आपका सेम फाइल पांचों कॉलेजों को जाता है US में कैसा होता है आपका अलग अलग फाइल अलग अलग कॉलेज को जाता है बट जो सेम फाइल होता है पांच कॉलेज को जाता है अभी इसमें क्या होता है जो ये फाइल होता है कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर मेजर थिंग्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ योर पर्सनल स्टेटमेंट पर्सनल स्टेटमेंट इज अबाउट फोर थाउजेंड कैरेक्टर एस ए अबाउट वाई यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी सब्जेक्ट फिर उसके बाद आता है आपका लेटर ऑफ रिकमेंडेशन तो आइडियली जो आपके कोई टीचर जो आपके साथ बहुत टाइम से रहे हैं वो एक अप्रोक्सीमेटली 4000 थाउजेंड कैरेक्टर्स का ऐसे लिखते हैं कि भाई ऐसे स्टूडेंट है गुड स्टूडेंट फॉर यूर यूनिवर्सिटी फिर एक आपके जाते हैं प्रिडिक्टिव डेट्स प्रिडिक्टिव डेट्स क्योंकि आपने अगर आपने बोर्ड्स नहीं दिए इन दर योर अप्लाई तो आपका स्कूल के साथ आपको कनेक्ट करना पड़ता है कोई यू कैस बस वर्ड रहता है वो रहता है तो आपकी स्कूल ही ग्रेड्स अपलोड करती है उनको फिर अगर आप कोई भी यूनिवर्सिटी स्टूडेंट को पूछेगा तो मैं कितने आना अगर सब हंड्रेड परसेंट ही करते तो स्कूल्स थोड़ा आन बाय स्टेक परस्पेक्टिव देते हैं कितना स्कोर आना चाहिए और हर एक यूनिवर्सिटी का उनके वेबसाइट पे रिक्वायरमेंट लिखा रहता है उसके आगे आपके आते हैं टेंथ के मार्क्स तो टेंथ के मार्क्स अगर आपने इंटरनेशनल बोर्ड्स के जैसे आई टी सी एस ए वो आपको एग्जामेशन भी दे सकते हैं आई लेट्स देने से बट वो इंडियन बोर्ड्स भी एक्सेप्ट करते हैं सी बी एस ई इज एक्सेप्टेड एट ऑक्सफर्ड बट हर कॉलेज डजेंट टेक एवरी बोर्ड एग्जाम्पल आई सी एस ई इज नॉट टेकन एट ऑक्सफर्ड एज फार एज आई नोट इट इज एज ऑन द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड लेवल तो so, अगर आपको ये यूनिवर्सिटी में जाना है सो इट मेक सेंस कि आप टेंथ से इसकी तैयारी शुरू करें तो ये जो चार मेन फाइल्स हैं जो चार ये मेन कॉन्सेप्ट्स हैं आपके थ्रू फिफ्टीन अक्टूबर तक ऑक्सफोर्ड तक पहुंच जाने चाहिए फिर एक साइड में स्टेप आता है बिकॉज आई एम डूइंग लॉ उनका एक एक्सटर्नल एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन होता है जो आपको सेंटर में जाकर लिखना पड़ता है सो फॉर लॉ इट वॉज दी एन लैट दी एन लैट इज अ टू पार्ट एग्जाम द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द एन लैट इज अ फोर्टी टू मार्क क्वेश्चन है दिस फोर्टी टू मार्क क्वेश्चन है आपको टेक्स्ट दिखाया जाता है और आपको करेक्ट आंसर चूज करने का इसलिए ऑन द सरफेस इट लुक्स अ लिटिल इजी चार पांच टाइम से क्यों बट इवन द एसएटी इज एन एमसीक्यू एट द एंड ऑफ द डे राइट सो दिस 42 मार्क टेस्ट द कट ऑफ फॉर ऑक्सफोर्ड दे डोंट हैव अ ऑफिशियल कट ऑफ बट मोस्ट पीपल हु गेट इट स्कोर एज लिटिल एज 27 मार्क्स हु कट ऑफ 42 ओके 50 मिनट लिटिल लिटिल मोर देन 50 परसेंट लिटिल मोर देन 50 परसेंट इज हाउ डिफिकल्ट दिस टेस्ट इज सो आई वाज फॉर्चूनेट इनफ टू स्कोर अ 29 ऑन दिस टेस्ट Well above the requirement, which is what really helped my aspect into entering. Then the other part of this is the essay. Mm-hmm. Now the essay, you don't get spell check, you don't get uh, formatting, nothing. You get one keyboard, you get one screen. आपको तभी के तभी तीन प्रॉब्लम दिखा दें एक चूज करने का. Forty minutes, you can write an eight hundred word essay. Also. And now what is really tricky about this essay is that ऐसा नहीं है कि जो exam checker है आपका essay check करेगा. Exam checker आपका essay देखेगा भी. हर एक जो ऐसे आपकी पांचों के पांचों कॉलेजों को इंडिविजुअली फॉरवर्ड होता है और वो लोग चेक करें यहाँ पे क्या सब्जेक्टिविटी आ जाती है कि जो एक कॉलेज के लिए सब लोग बहुत अच्छा ऐसे हो दूसरे कॉलेज के लिए वो अच्छा ऐसे नहीं है यू टू टेक अ थोड़ा गैम्बल कि आप कैसे लिख रहे हो उसका स्टाइल बट दीज मेन फाइव कॉम्पोनेट गोट कर यूनिवर्सिटी जब आप यूनिवर्सिटी में अप्लाई कर रहे हो ऑक्सफर्ड एज यूनिवर्सिटी इज मेड अप ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिफरेंट कॉलेजेस नाउ The course that I applied for, law, which is very law with international law, is offered by 36 colleges at Oxford. Not every college will offer every course, and at an undergraduate level, 36 colleges have applied for it. 
सो अभी उसमें क्या होता है कि आप या तो ओपन एप्लीकेशन कर सकते हो या फिर बोलते हो कि यूनिवर्सिटी डिसाइड करेंगे मैं कौन से कॉलेज में जाऊंगी बेस्ड ऑन जगह कहाँ पे वेर एज अगर आपको एक कोई स्पेसिफिक कॉलेज माइंड में है जैसे मुझे सेंट पीटर्स था आप डायरेक्टली अपने एप्लीकेशन में स्टेट कर सकते हो कि मुझे सेंट पीटर्स में ही चाहिए तो अभी क्या होता है सब यूनिवर्सिटी को एक बड़ी लिस्ट आती है हर एक स्टूडेंट की उसमें आपका पर्सनल स्टेटमेंट का मार्किंग होता है उसका स्कोर ऐड होता है आपके एन स्कोर के साथ ऐसे और आपका ये नहीं आपका ऐसे और एम सी क्यू का फिर आपका एल का भी स्कोरिंग ऐड होता है और आपके प्रिडिक्टिव और अचीव टेंथ के मार्क्स और ट्वेल्थ के प्रिडिक्टिव मार्क्स चेक होता है अगर सब क्राइटेरिया सब लोग एक मिला के देखने का कम्बाइंड नंबर हर साल हर एक कॉम्पोनेंट का वेटेज चेंज होता है समझो एक साल एल थोड़ी ईजी बन गए तो एल का थोड़ा वेटेज कम कर देंगे कॉलेजरी So I applied to Saint Peter's. I got an interview for Saint Peter's. Now this interview again differs from subject to subject. But what happens at the end of it is that your interview score along with the rest of your marks are added together. Now these interviews again differ subject for them, right? So I won't get too much into them. They are their own very special topic format, uh, formatting that I had to prepare for a whole month every day and night. Uh, this is a very funny story to it. I'll come to it later. Yes, but. Uh, Nonetheless, your interview score along with this previous number that I computed add up together, and out of that, for my course specifically, they take four students out of everybody who applied. Fixed four. Fixed four across the world. <laughs> and if you are in the top four of who applied, then you get the course. So what is also really special about my course is the fact that usually you say applied for chemistry, or they are they call it material sciences. So we have applied material sciences. So college would make that decision that we have to take this child or not. Okay. But if you apply for my course, which is a faculty course, is called. Mm-hmm. What ends up happening is first the college has to say yes. If we want this kid, then many file forward hoti hai main law faculty ko, which is got tutors from all across every college in the university. Mm-hmm. Then they have to also say yes. Ki ha, hamen ye bachcha chahiye. Usually what ends up happening is ki aapke char slots hote hain. Usse three British citizens ko milte hain aur ek international. Ko. That's what you wanted to do. That's what also what I wanted to do. Okay. But what also would have allowed these other courses fast track your way into practicing in those countries also. That's another aspect when I'm talking about the field of international law. We are getting into it then. But again, you have to also look at it in a slightly pragmatic way. The what assets you have in your application. Focus on that. Don't try and do everything. Because if you layer your application too wide, now you won't have that punching force that you need to impress the exam. So you have to be like you know very much specific what you want to do and it yeah. should reflect in your application. Yeah. Right? Say no. So one big way how a British application or a Western application with those one Indian one, a lot of colleges in India will just ask you entrance fees. Okay. There are certain yeah yeah you get it or you don't get it. Yes. I I I had a friend who scored a 34 on the entrance, which is a very wow. very difficult thing to do. Somebody who's far smarter than I am, I, I hope. She didn't get an offer. Okay, and it goes to show that even if you do really, really well on your entrance test, the rest of your application falters. There is no saving. So every single thing has to be perfect. perfect. You have to give your hundred percent. Yes. So just to understand, actually you have covered beautifully everything, like step by step. For a timeline, let's take it. So basically, uh, you are going right now in October, right? Twenty-two. Uh, Thought kabi aaye Oxford jane ka. और आया अप्रोक्सिमेटली जून 21 जून 21 तो एक साल पहले ही बेसिकली हां सो प्रिपरेशन कब से शुरू हुआ आप मुझे दी एक्चुअली स्टडीइंग और यू नो रीचिंग आउट टू सम कोचेस और व्हाटएवर तो 
There's two types of preparation in the Bible. There's one something called passive preparation and something called active preparation. Right. So passive preparation needs to start from ten cents. Wherein you need to have the required bounds. So why did the MYP in ten? So the MYP is put out of forty-two points. It's put out of forty on the forty-two. What is it? Middle years program, IB होता है ना, IB DP होता है, twelfth के लिए. वैसे ही tenth का international board रहता है, MYP. So it's not necessary you do MYP. They accept all sorts of boards. But again, go to their website. Every year the requirements also will go up and down a little bit. Last I checked, they need a ninety percent in CBSE. Okay, in your tenth. So they have a tenth requirement that you have to fulfill. And they also have a twelfth requirement in your predictive system. So fundamentally, that is the gist of it. So from tenth onwards, you need to have a strong academic profile. Now, when you're looking at law specifically, the NLAT is a sort of exam. You still have to prepare. Nigga, sir. There is no content that you have to revise. There is no big textbook that you have to memorize and stuff. But instead, it's your logical reasoning, your aptitude, your ability to think, and that has to be trained by learning to read newspapers in very young age, learning to read, learning to digest your legal opinions. And unless you do that, tests like this are going to be very, very hard. Because fundamentally, what these universities, say, big universities like Cambridge and Oxford, they use the same test, and they both have a similar approach with that to board requirement, which is like. We print your textbooks. Hmm. Are your authors? These are our institutions, right? So we know to what extent your board can judge your caliber in your subject. Right. So if you look at certain subjects which are more pure sciences, hmm. just chemistry, they have a far higher requirement in their boards hmm. compared to law, because their content really matters. Hmm. Whereas we look at something like law, because a lot of schools you can't take law in 12th century, hmm. but you can take chemistry in 10th and 12th century. Right. So it's a good indicator of how well you do in, in that subject. Okay. So again. Wide range of difference between subject to subject, but my course for space available is the most competitive course at Oxford. Then comes economics and management, and then comes the regular law course. So June, so by the time I think uh, you said October, right? Yeah, by October, October your application has to be done. So June, July, August, September, October, five months. Five months, right? By that you should have uh, done that. And uh, uh, so active preparation, if you talk about it, five to six months. Five to six months is the active preparation. Okay, so now coming towards like you know we are already talking about coaching, uh, preparation, and all that. So if you would like to share uh, who were your coaches or mentors or any institute, uh, from where you got the you know guidance or support. So I think we are at in yeah. that segment. <clears throat> well, I did work with a career counselor before I went to my career counselor. I would say the big source of support was family and grandparents. They they need that uh, education. Speech, of course. But uh, coming back to the importance of a good guidance counselor, it's very important that you get one early on. Because what ends up happening is that even though your marks, your studies, and all of that really matters, but also your super curriculums, things you do on top of education, mm-hmm. all is also very important. And early on, you need someone to push you in the right direction. So when it comes to writing those four thousand characters, you have something of substance. Yeah. So I did a lot of MUNs. So I won at IIT Bombay's MUN in 2021, which is India's largest MUN. MUN is a oh, sorry, so sorry. Uh, Model United Nations is a debating form that I used to do uh, when I was in school. I started doing them in 2019. And essentially, what they are is they are a recreation of the UN, and where debate happens on matters of world policy. So you have in students coming from law law, law schools, coming from the same age as you. I have all sorts of background with all sorts of opinions. Who are assigned a country and are made to simulate the proceedings of the UN. So that is where my love for international law actually started. When you think about it, and uh, that's also what I've written in my personal statement. So these MUNs were a very important thing for me because they showed me how to argue in a legalistic way. Because if you look at it, the majority of our current legal world internationally, the relations between countries, how we travel abroad, the recognition of passports. How airlines are allowed to travel across countries? All of it is based on law. We have international legal treaties that govern all of it. And when you actually prepare for these conferences, you have to read a lot of international law and learn to understand it and learn to argue on it. And because I was doing that passively, passive preparation, yes, for years on end, I had a very good legal aptitude when it came to actually making my active preparation make sense. Wow. So, like I said, we had a good guidance counselor. Early on, Shaul Zainal Samad also had uh, facilities for students. We are in touch with them, and I would say from the 10th standard onwards, 
have a guidance counselor, make sure you look up to pick up your personal statement, your CVs, and things you actually like to do. And I work with a firm called Rostro, an international firm. But once again, I don't think that's strictly necessary. We're working with large firms. I personally find it comfortable having a certain level of expertise. But I know lots of my friends who have bought it in this year, especially ones from the UK themselves, that had no career, that had no career counselor. I have a friend, in fact, one of the other, one, there are four people coming from Bombay. One of wow. the other person that's coming from Bombay is a very dear friend of mine. Mm. And she was writing her personal statement until 11.50 pm, 14th October. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a thing as if you're meant to go that you will go. They are very this whole system has been designed to scout out talent. And if they see talent in you, they will take. But get a good career counselor early on and send it onwards. Invest time into building your super curriculums. Now, when I say super curriculums, I don't mean extra curriculums. Mm. Extra curriculums like sports, um, say like music, or playing the guitar, or something that's not related to your studies. If you're applying to the US, that's right. But the British don't really care about that. What they want is something called super curriculums, where it's something that adds on to your studies. Okay. Debate competitions, uh, organizing debate competitions, essay competitions. So these things, if they fill up your personal right. statement, they add a lot more value than say if you wanted a dancing competition sometime in seventh Okay. <laughs> Great. So, uh, when did this rostrum uh, uh, come to the picture? Like, you know, when they got engaged so, with your profile? And, uh, so, again, okay. early on, or active preparation. In that six months of active preparation, I took in, it was very intense, I took in all the help I could get. Boards of friends, they sent my profile to their counselors also. Like, is this right? Is this not right? And got as many opinions as I could. But I would say my active preparation was only successful. It was the passive preparation that came behind. Because I had all the puzzle pieces in place, I just needed help to put the puzzle together. I had the pieces to make the picture, but somebody has to come make a nice picture for you. And things like, things like education is very, very important. Super. So now it's about uh, preparation. And uh, everything that we've talked about, uh, people always they have some uh, you know uh, confusion. Which subject? Now, from the beginning, actually, you are talking about law, law, law. Why international law? Like, what what is it that you know uh, that you chose this uh, particular subject and you want to go into this? Why? Why not? Well, I mean, no one's really born with an interest in any subject, right? Because obviously, there's always an origin story as to why we. Uh, in fact, I don't know if my family theory remembers this, but I was a staunch aerospace engineer until 10 uh-huh. <laughs> I was somebody who really, really wanted to go in the science field and I made my mark in there wherever I could as well. And it's a little funny now to be doing something the exact opposite. But it's to say that for a long time I wanted to move over. But I did not because of the fear of what people would say. So, but it's important to take that deep and say, Lok jo kahe ke, kahe ke, yeah, Wow! Very good. Very good. So, the interest is model UN stuff. Now, the first model UN was very random. An old friend who had left my school a couple of years ago was organizing one of his new school. He was calling everybody up. So, he called me up. Very old friend. So you, are you coming? Like, what is it? A debate conference. I was somebody who gave speeches. I was somebody who was active in the whole hosting aspect of my school. So I was like, okay, speech. And I get to take one day off school, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> Good reason. Good, good, good reason. One nice candidate gave you have one day off school. Why, why will he not? Unfortunately, he not Plus, I got to travel, wear a nice fancy suit. Why would I not do so I go there and I'm in this sort of situation where I'm surrounded by people far older than me. I was in 9th standard level. And uh, people who were there were 11, 12, a couple of college students as well. I went into an atmosphere of very intimidating. You're supposed to have a partner. Mm-hmm. One delegate, one delegate, two debaters have to do it together. Right. My partner doesn't show up. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> and I am at my first model event having researched. 48 hours before, I barely having slept, and I'm here. And my partner is supposed to be here. I've been, you know, talking to her, I've been telling her that okay, you take this part, you take this part. She falls sick that day. Oh <laughs> God! <laughs> and I am left there in a situation of pressure. 
and if there's something I've learned about myself, especially in that instance, mm-hmm. I work well under pressure. So in that yeah. moment, I gathered my thoughts, I took print out of the notes that I had sent her, mm-hmm. read through them, and then I got into the debate competition without a fear of losing. Okay. And my first ever MUN, I won best ever. I have the check. I won 2,500 rupees, <laughs> which was a very small amount in the grand scheme of things, but it was my first ever earning. Wow! Yeah, yeah. So you'd have kept it. Yeah. 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 yeah, very valuable. Yeah. Super. So what ends up happening is that when you put yourself in that scenario, in that situation, and you're surrounded by people who also have similar passions of speaking, debating, learning, like you do. So I met a lot of friends over there, and then one day one of these friends calls me. Okay, there's one more MBA. Are you coming? और एक दिन छुट्टी मिल गया तो सिटी स्कूल वेरी वेरी फार अवेरी फारेड People live very different lifestyles than I did growing up, at least. Yes. And it was a bit of a game of playing catch up. Hmm. And again, in the situation of pressure, I excel. Yes. And in my second M U N also, I won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But what was so much more important for me was that I made friends uh-huh. who were also into international relations, who were also into international law. Who also did the same amount of preparation I did, but we start because of a couple of parts here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my conversation started becoming about that. I started speaking to people in my spare time about oh this is one international conflict. What's your opinion on this? Right. But when I got new partners for these events, we spent hours and hours talking about matters of international relations, international affairs. And because I was doing events so often now, because I had one friend or the other calling me every two minutes, that you know every when I aja aja aja. So I barely went to school in ninth to be honest with you towards the end of it. <laughs> But it was worth it. <laughs> एग्जामिनेशन <laughs> Was during COVID times, and uh, two in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. And he said, "What are you doing? What 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 So he was running for what good uh, uh, yeah, 24 hours. Plus, nine plus nine, plus nine plus nine. So we the next in six. So almost 22, 23 hours. Wow. Yeah, I know. So the night committee on, and what do you have to? That's crazy. It's crazy. Really no, it was just that. And in fact, uh, when COVID first struck, I had a lot of my MBA only during COVID also. Yeah, mm-hmm. online MBA. Online. Huh? And uh, when COVID first struck, uh, that was one of the first cases in the city. Important COVID. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like like very very early, mm-hmm. like the case count would have been in the thousands, maybe. And I was in the middle of an M U N. All right, and I am doing my conference over there, and I was in the middle of a debate, and I just hear a knock on the door because we knew Dad had a fever two three days ago, but nobody would believe it. Because maybe nah, COVID, COVID was like yeah. COVID was the guy. उसउन So we had all protocols set, and he did everything. Yeah. And by the time I came home, yeah. I was sure I had COVID, yeah. and the whole house was set with red tapes, yellow markers, tables, yeah, spoons, everything in place. Dal dal, locked in the room. Yeah. <laughs> But when I got the news, I was in the middle of a debate, and uh, we had something on unmoderated side. So we were just discussing, mm-hmm. negotiating. Can you say this? You agree to this? It's a little informal session. Okay. I just walked out. I see four people in hazmat suits with like sanitizer spray <laughs> spraying down the whole house. <laughs> and mom says that Viraj, uh, that that is positive. Yeah. So and at that point I accepted. Listen, there's not much I can do now. 
I locked my door, shut the door, and went back to debating for another four hours. Because <laughs> <laughs> what can one do? So BMC वाले यहाँ पे आए हैं तो वो क्या करेंगे? I am giving my debate over. Yeah. But so this was the whole process. Mm. I met a lot of people. I met law students. I met people in their third year of their law degrees, and that's where I got my exposure. Right. That's where you know what you what uh, the the, pro, the program that the Education Trust does, where you make people meet one to one with people uh, in their field. That was my equivalent of that. Because mm. I met law students who were in their third year, people who had almost become lawyers. I was chaired by some lawyers who were doing these committees. Mm -hmm. And when you're speaking to them in an atmosphere like this, the only thing you speak about is their subject. Correct. You, and you get to hear so much about not only a subject of law, but how does one become a lawyer? Okay. And the quick workarounds to it, and what new quirks of law you can use to advance your career quickly. And you start surrounding yourself. And that's just the start of the transition. Mm. The way it works is you initially start doing your MUNs here and there. You start winning. You start getting to know people. One day you're like, okay, I will do my own MUN. Right. And that's what I did. So I I organized a 300 person in person MUN at my school, as well as an online version of the same with 500 wow. kids. Wow. So and the school is so proud of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 300, 300, 300 students. Students who yeah. never done MUN. Yeah. yeah. So we trained yeah. them overnight. We taught them how to run the rules of procedure. So I was the only person in the entire school who knew how to do it. Right. And by the end of it, there were 500 kids who knew how to do it. Yeah. And then even today, I see kids from my school going to different schools to do this. And I know that they started because mm. I was able to do that. So we became the trendsetter of the school. Trendsetter. Yeah. Yeah. Which school? Yeah. Uh, NTR. Right. Exercise. Yeah. Exercise. So again, it was this process. Mm. That's also what I demonstrated when I was talking to my personal statement. How I was able to take a skill and do something good. Mm. And that's also something you really need to show that it's not only the process of learning, but also what comes post learning. Correct. How have you used it to make yeah. the world a better place? Wow. Yeah. Super, super. So you really? have guided, trained, and almost you know these three hundred students they got to learn new thing, yeah. and that competition also you know must have been like really great yeah. and you know milestone for the school as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. So now let us talk about some of the schooling, uh, education. You know, how did you prepare? Uh, you know, what sort of grade that you were getting in school, and you know, what sort of board, school education board that you were part of, and what were the preparations during school? Some competition or uh, you know, something. If you could share any of that, and if some teachers that you know you remember that okay, this person made really big difference uh, in your life. Something about the schooling. So, um, in fact, it's a very funny thing that I say it now. But when I was younger, I had a stammer, and I had a very, very bad stammer, and I couldn't speak very well. And um, I was told that I had a slight lisp in my speech. And um, the first person to ever, you know, bring it out was my principal, Dr. Arvind Rajan, who is the head trustee of the S N E S S U D institution. So very lovely man, and he's really helped me throughout all aspects of my life. If I'm anywhere in society in life at this point, a big part of it is because of him. So, I mean, coming back to that, I'd say that uh, what helped me out of this stammering, we tried everything. We went to speech therapists, we went to doctors, you know, we spoke to different teachers, special needs teachers, everything. It just wouldn't go away. And the fundamental reason was that I thought because my thinking was so quick, I my tongue couldn't keep up. It did late sometimes it happens, but. Fundamentally, what sorted me is uh, my principal forced my teachers. I mean, imagine a kid who has a class, a kid who has a class. If your teacher comes and tells you that you have to put him on stage and give him central roles, we will say that. And so it was a risk my principal took at bullying every single school function. But he made sure that I was asked to host a dance or speech. I was asked to put myself out. So even today, you know, I speak to friends. Well, you know what they always tell me. Branch, you talk like you're giving a speech. Yeah. You're having a conversation with someone also, now. Yes. The way you talk, it's like you're giving a speech. You know, I don't know. I also feel right now. Ah. Same. Ah. <laughs> yeah. And why? Well, yeah. Very nice, uh, articulated and very nice. Oh. But why I do that is because I learned to speak on stage. Yeah. I never learned to speak in conversation. In here. Ah. I the way I learned to speak was always in front of 200 people. So your body language, the way you articulate, the way you accentuate your words, has to be like that in the way that. 200 people could listen to you right now and still understand what you're saying. Mm. So, from a primal years perspective, that was a very big help. 
and uh, if I specifically pick out one teacher who's helped me a lot, it would go away to say that all my teachers have helped me in a very massive manner. Yeah. And uh, it's I would say uh, very what's very important in a fundamental educational sense is that my school let me do what I wanted. I was a little mischievous kid also sometimes. I've also had a little problems with the management here and there. I also played a few pranks on my friends here and there. But the school never gave up hope on me as a I was never always a straight edge. It was like I had the capability of being a straight edge. And when I wanted to, I scored really, really well. And I was somebody whose attention was very flaunted on me. So there were times when I really failed. But, and, and then there were times when I talked to classmates. So it was very much a case of my interest. And that interest, I think, a sense of maturity only came after 10 standards. And I understood that you are not studying because you have to be interested. Are you studying because you have a goal? This studying is important to that book you read. So, for example, in 12, I took biology. I am going to be to work. And before that, also, I was an aerospace engineer. Biology ka atta pata nahi. Virudhi sir, we have. Because we had come to that we had to take one science. I was like, physics is math based, chemistry is math based, maths is thoda hai, hai, difficult hai. So, we just go for bio. Bio was another nightmare that's different. But, in fact, what happened was that I switched over from physics to bio at the end of at midway 11th. So, I had like six months to prepare for my final exam. And in the middle, switching over to bio, I hate it from the bottom of my heart. I knew that if I have to get in, I need to score very well. Mm. So, in fact, like if the subjects I scored highest, then I put in the least amount of work. Mm. And the subjects that I scored okay, decent, well, on the higher end, I put in the most work. Right. Because I knew this is important. And that maturity is what saved me from being a mediocre student. Because I understood what is important for me and what is not. So, my dad very thoroughly disagrees with my philosophy on this. And you are allowed to if you want to. But I believe in the philosophy of good enough. Mm. In that, if you need 80% to clear an exam, then it takes you say 6 hours to go from 60% to 80% of studying. And it doesn't matter if you get 80 or 85. I will always say, score the 80 and then the hours you would have put in getting an 85 put into something else also. Okay. It's, a, it's a philosophy a lot of people in life disagree with and I'm okay with it. <coughs> but it's what has worked for me. Because what I have understood is, for example, my requirement for Oxford was 38 and lots of people applied to Oxford 45 or 45 right. 100% so I scored what was the equivalent of 90% in my training yes and what up was my required right. so <laughs> after that they've said 90% like 100% for us it is the same right. once you cross that barrier so what I did was once I got that predictive score I put my studies in the back burner and I focused on my entrance and which is why I was able to pull through on my entrances in a short period of time. Mm-hmm. And that's a process of productivity in which I believe. Wherein you need to set goals for yourself, very accurate goals. Even my grandfather tells us people today, Viraj didn't necessarily get him because of his hard work, because of the accuracy of his work. So it's very important when you're dealing with such large workload, four different components, each equally important. You can't be a perfectionist. You should strive to be one. In an ideal world, everybody should be perfect. Yes. But we are human beings. So you need to learn to manage your resources very very effectively and that maturity came to be a little late unfortunately but it's very important that it comes nonetheless that's very a school should be able to delve that into you right. to understand you have limited time you have limited resources like it or not you have limited brain capacity yeah. so you need to be able to allocate it to the right students and at the right times it's a wonderful piece of advice actually for students uh, who are even appearing for some other competitive yes. exams and you know it's super helpful uh, so you already talking about you know uh, your conversation with your Dadu father so let's talk about that <clears throat> in your success and you know even the going forward you know uh, definitely succeed but how what's the contribution and you know what's your family situation like what's the environment that was given to you what sort of rules or what sort of uh, things that you guys have set it up uh, I think that's I believe it's going to be super helpful for many Varnushali families that the uh, environment is how to be at home you know, you know, you know, you know, there are a lot of uh, philosophies are going around what do you think about Chandra family? Mein kya and 
in order these colleges they'll incentivize international students by providing them a good scholarship yes but it's the opposite in the uk hmm. uk oxford is the most expensive college um, which also only for not a small amount for a lot of people but in the grand scheme of things cost 30 lakhs a year okay. or 30000 pounds a year which but they don't offer non british citizens scholarships okay so if you are a british citizen your fees is 9000 pounds a year it increases with inflation every year but uh, if you are an international then it's 30000 pounds a year wow difference 9000 to 30000 right very big difference but if you think about it because british citizens pay such higher taxes than we do in india okay in the round scheme of things it comes out to run but up front yes, there's a difference oxford has something called a grand start scholarship which it does provide for a very small select subject so law is not covered unfortunately and for a very small select number of nationalities india is a part of this okay but again that's a bursary that is at best 4500 pounds 4 5 lakhs the majority of your tuition fees will unfortunately have to be borne by you uh, but there are third party organizations that offer scholarships on the particular i like to name is oxford and cambridge society I went to their uh, freshers event in Delhi last month. It's a very beautiful event. I met uh, Dr. Star Mitra, who is one uh, who's the assistant solicitor general of India. Rahul Gandhi was also present at the event. He did his master's in English. So they offer, I think, a two lakh per year scholarship for undergraduate and postgraduate students. Uh, definitely look into that. Look into an application for it once you get your offer. So third party scholarships are available, but unfortunately. In the grand scheme of like further education, UK is cheap compared to the US, Canada, a lot of these North American institutions. But you will not get that much financial support. That's the main difference. Uh, if you look at cost of living, uh, if you're living in London, I would say you need bare minimum, including rent, utilities, sub milake, thirteen hundred pounds per month. Or just that. If you're living outside of London, you can survive in one thousand pounds, approximately. So housing. is also something that has to be paid so two kinds of housing are available in the uk university sponsored housing and private accommodation yes so university sponsored housing usually comes with a clause that you have to vacate at the end of every term so every term term so, so okay. that's an issue for me because what is happening is that i have to vacate my house in december 3rd if i'm michael mas in oxford ends okay now i'm not allowed to keep my luggage there nothing so no suitcase man laya no suitcase wapas laana hai so fortunately my college at oxford Offers you to keep two suitcases in their storage. And one legal loophole is that they haven't specified how big the suitcases can be. <laughs> so <laughs> go jumbo suitcases are there. That's the whole idea. But uh, uh, but not every college will do. And especially one with city campuses, things fall in London. London is too economic. They're very stingy. London is a very expensive place to be. But outside London, it's still comparatively affordable. So um, that's that. If you do, if you take private accommodation. It's not a student during the second year, then you don't have to. So there's no visa required. As in, the visa doesn't ask you to come back at the end of the year. If your visa is for three years, you can stay there for three years. Yes. Just so, because university yeah. rules are there, so you have to. Yeah, you have to. That's actually the housing rule, not the visa rule. So uh, also, like a lot of students, who want to work during their visa. There's a small issue with that. Is that first of all, the visa only allows you 20 hours of work, but you cannot take up work when the university is on. So you're okay. only allowed work during vacation. So that's a small problem because even though the minimum wage there is some ten per pounds, so you can earn two hundred and twenty pounds for working a week. A week if you manage your time very well. Thousand pounds a month. Thousand pounds a month. Expenses are there. Yeah. But you can only do that during vacation. So, I think it's different. Yeah. Hardly much different. So you have to make that you need a certain sort of financial backing. Me, my parents have been planning in advance for a long time because we knew because they've been sending me to I U since I was a child. Of course, the specifics were a little unclear as early as like a couple of months ago. But they knew Jane Wala, so they had a proper financial instrument set up. They would provide better answers to that. So I think I can't say. But and uh, really quickly, so this is your undergrad that you'll be starting. So how many years, and then after that, what's your plan? So this is a specialist course in international law at Oxford. So we have two years at Oxford first, then we transfer to Europe's oldest university, mainland Europe's oldest university, University of Leiden in Amsterdam. Where I do a one-year specialization in international law, and I come back in my fourth year at Oxford to finish my final year. So after this, there are two kinds of lawyers in the UK: solicitors and barristers. Barristers fight in court, so solicitors work with legal firms. And I, as of right now, at least want to be a solicitor. 
there's a two year qualification process where i plan to work with the magic circle from what a what a magic circle from is i have the biggest international team in the world okay so i don't i don't all that into account i have the stick traders daughter and me alan and me clifford and charles and there's one more that i have but uh, five magic circle firms starting packages are very very high that's why they have their uh, names but also at this side money is very important aspect of this is the fastest way to climb up the league so get a two year training contract on one of these firms uh, which pays very well so i can get off my parents yes the first thing is to get off become independent from my parents yeah. and hopefully soon in life they will have my degree even though the last not for it but for my own sake i want to if not in money in kind get my dad a dream house that he wants a dream car that he wants that's my first wish yeah about that so so four years and first two years last year not for Then what happens is because of the Bar Council of India's regulations, I'm allowed to come back here and write the bar exam here okay. without having to do a degree okay. after qualifying as a student. Okay. So what happens is that I become a lawyer here as well as there. Okay. So now what's what my USP becomes because only Indian citizens can practice law in India. So there's no such regulation in the UK. Okay. So I separate myself from the crowd by saying that instead of hiring two lawyers for your firm for your international law firm okay. that works in India as well as here, I agree. Right. Now, because of my third year abroad, I also win a little bit of extra courses here. Yeah. Qualify as a lawyer in EU country, thirty-six different countries. Okay, thirty-six plus two, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. So thirty-eight countries I'm so allowed to practice now. Wow, amazing, amazing. And you know, for the number of people, give me the opportunity. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what's up? Hey, so you, the opportunity will be here. So I like to do my masters. I had a lab at the Harvard or UC Berkeley, and then I get to practice in New York Bar or the California Bar, and then make that thirty-eight or something. Yeah, बात है, हो जाएगा, या फिर भी होगा. And going uh, forward, you also you want to start something on your own, like yeah, so that's what sort of. Uh, so the way, yeah, so the way, not important in the long run, is to make partner and success. And then once you're a partner, you have a big sense of what what all the mean. An equity partner, and you own a certain stake of the business. You start getting a percentage of the profits, like you were running your own business, right? Okay. So now that's the end of my life. Takes me who knows where the next twenty years will go, where technology will come. But it's one of my dreams to hopefully get out of the private legal world, just to pursue international law, so private international finances, international arbitration, this public international, UN, human rights, making the world a better place. So the goal in life by the end of it is to retire out of this private international world. Then into the international public okay. yeah. represent India at the UN. It's something called the International Legal Commission, which is what writes the treaties and the UN signs. So the hope is one day I will write a treaty that will sign. So one thing, one amazing, one amazing thing is he is yet to start his undergrad. And he even has <laughs> understanding of what I will do after forty years. Yes. Okay. And he has after that full years. understanding, basically. So yeah, that's path, complete path of the life. That's really. And even if he changes something later on, huh? that's up to his wish and everything. But as on today, he has already planned, which is amazing. No, I, I, I make sure that my plan is lots of. You really need to plan for that. You really. I mean, how many more choices can you have for a lawyer more than forty years? Right. So <laughs> amazing. So I think. Uh, Mostly we have covered uh, everything, uh, you know, on behalf of uh, Shri Kachi Banuja Di Seva Samaj Trust and Odoram Education Foundation and Boss Team and everybody, uh, we wish you all the best for your, you know, next amazing journey at Oxford and uh, Howard. Yes, and future Howard as well. So uh, I now request uh, Dinesh Bhai to uh, say concluding uh, words.
of a son you will never be a good mother you need to oppose you need to retaliate you need to not i mean i always say parenting is not being a friend to your son which is a very wrong i personally believe uh, methodology followed now by a lot of parents mm-hmm. they, they have friends to have friends you be the parent exactly. very important to be their parent for friends they are the entire world you have to show them you have the to be the rule and uh, you have to follow the parent you have to strict yes yes and for friends they have friends, friends. 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 The yeah, friend words should not pass. Yeah. You be a good parent to them. You are only yeah. to be there. My dad always taught me one line, which I always used with him: is the rule of speed breakers. You're going at certain speed. My dad was always my speed breaker. Yeah. When he saw me going running, speed in all of any direction, so chill, look around, and then, and that speed breakers is what helps us not be the answers. Yes. Not so that's very important. Wow. <laughs> I always thought in one thing: I will choose the right path. There is a wrong path. It's your choice whether you want to go to the right path or the wrong. Path. How did you give him a choice, much? <laughs> <laughs> I am a speed breaker, so I have to do that. I'm okay. Here, here, look at me. Hello, this is Chetan. I'm okay. What are you doing? 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 हमेशा आ चुके हैं कि था जो लाऊं हूं चुके हैं कि गाड़ी भी नहीं बने नहीं था वो जरूरी नहीं था जो पास हो गए उनको पे चुके हैं कि लाइफ बनानी है देन के राइट वे ऑफ द एजुकेशन जो फक्त देश में है करे ना करे कैपेसिटी दे रहे कि अलग होती है इनकी कैपेसिटी है पी चुके में ऊंची है तो जितनी कैपेसिटी उनके मैक्सिमम की यूज कर चुके के लग्जरीज बनाए अच्छे जमाने के आधुनिक प्रमाण है इनके चुके के डेवलप करे इना के पा और थोड़ा धीरे था चोरी नहीं थी 
and also from your vast uh, experience in the field of education and uh, you know seva samaj activities yeah i would like to start with navin bhai because he has been an idol like navin bhai kya generally change the past saturday the baat kiya hua ki he was the first education minister seva samaj mein jeet thi jodaya wo je do thi pair thi je nike follow karta hua and i can see the result viraj out over here wow really <laughs> best, best best thing probably he has done in the right year A little bit before time, he was planning works, and now I think yeah. down the line, ten years, I am seeing you probably in some international organization. Probably you will also go towards like heading UN. That's the expectation. But nothing else. Yeah, but well, that, that's what it should be. Ah, we are not in the government. The second yeah. Banushali in Oxford, I think it will be another big thing. All the best. Great. Great. Thank you. Okay. my sister yeah. yes. i think for about his studies and everything everybody is told a lot but as a person he is just too <laughs> yes yes definitely chaya <laughs> wow <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
cannot tell they are siblings. You can tell they are siblings. Right? And I think what he is is because of all of his common genes, and which I think like you know, cousins and brother sisters importance should be there, and which is not come in him because he is like that. It's just because we were like that, and yes. we born that our brothers and sisters, right. you know, their whole family, what we have. So important. It was always important for us, and we've given that importance to our kids also. And I think that should be there in all families. Wonderful. Because what we see today is just friends and all that, but yes, brother, sisters, that bonding nobody can take. Yeah. And, uh, and he is like an angel to my daughter. <laughs> and I don't. I think he knows more about my daughter than me. Kya yes. baat hai. Wow. He's a survivor always. He is. He. He's a counselor actually for her. Right? Wow. Yes, always there to guide her. She's going next year to London, so I'm just this. Yeah, Viraj is there. I'm not supposed to. Kya baat hai? Sweet is <laughs> amazing. Too smart to be my cousin. Super. So with that, ma, let's go. Otherambapa ji, Jai Bolayu. Ingla, Jai Bolayu. Bolo 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 औदराम जी महाराज की जय बालराम महाराज की जय नाती गंगा की जय ओम नमः पार्वती फतेह हर हर